Good evening. I'm Senator L. Louise Lucas, President Pro Tem of the Senate of Virginia. Good evening, and I'm Delegate Betsy Carr. This past November, voters across the Commonwealth made their voices clear. They want to move our Commonwealth forward and build a future that reflects all Virginians and protects the rights and freedoms of hardworking Virginia families. The Democratic majority in the House and Senate is one of action, and we are entering this legislative session ready to keep moving Virginia forward. Moving Virginia forward looks like securing our children's future through a world-class education. Revitalizing our infrastructure from Southwest Virginia to Northern Virginia to Hampton Roads and all points in between. Fostering an economy that works for hardworking Virginians. Keeping Virginia communities and our children safe. And protecting the rights and freedoms of all Virginians. Democrats are bringing forward bills to make these things happen. We want to keep guns out of the hands of people who might harm themselves or others and to do what we can to prevent accidental gun deaths. We can all agree that it is unacceptable that the leading cause of death for children and teens in the United States is gun violence. And we can all commit ourselves to work to find consensus on common sense measures to reduce violence. We want to ensure that affordable childcare is available to families across the Commonwealth. We do not accept that thousands of hardworking Virginians who work at least 40 hours each week cannot afford basic living expenses. We want to increase investment in our public schools and to recruit and retain the best teachers for our children. Our public schools have been woefully underfunded for far too long. The lack of investment in our schools is harming Virginia's ability to compete and risk depriving our society of its next generation of leaders. In other states, we see examples of women having to petition courts to obtain life-saving care. Democrats will continue to ensure that every woman in Virginia has the right to choose. We're looking forward to working with Governor Youngkin and our colleagues across the aisle to deliver on these core priorities. We have work to get done in the next 60 days to keep Virginia moving forward. Democrats are doing what we always have done, rolling up our sleeves and getting to work. As you already know, the Democrats currently hold the power in the House and the Senate. This new majority came about when Democrats shared a vision for a better, brighter, and more inclusive future for all Virginians. Virginians do not want to go back to the past when it came to their rights and freedoms. A past in which people were oppressed, unable to afford basic health care, who were scared to go to their churches and schools, and weren't allowed to love or marry who they wanted to love or marry. This past November, voters made it clear across the Commonwealth that they do not subscribe to the ideas of this governor or that of the Republican Party. One of the ideas was that we need to cut taxes for the rich and give more taxes to the poor. Virginia voters all across the Commonwealth voted to protect the rights and liberties of all those who reside in the state that they call home. They stood up to the mega ideologies that women should not have bodily autonomy, that making $4 an hour is living wage, and that we should accept school shootings as a status quo. Not only did voters say no at the ballot box, House and Senate Dem candidates said no or not on our watch. Our wins and conversations on the doors have laid out the framework for our plan to keep Virginia moving forward. We must secure our children's future with a world-class education, focus on keeping Virginia communities safe for our children, and protecting and preserving the rights and freedoms of all Virginians. This session, our focus is on the future, a future in which all people of the Commonwealth can find joy, hope, peace, prosperity, and love in calling Virginia their home. 